Okay, so to start off, let's show you what we have for this project. I don't know exactly what I need, so I give it my best guess, grab what I had and shop for a little more to make it happen. Now what I have right now for material, we're gonna go ahead and repurpose the broom, ribbon, and actually have a pair of chopsticks for this. You'll find out what that's for later. So we're going to get at it. So the next thing we're going to do is set this up to put the breeding holes in. I'm going to use the hole saw and I'm going to do three pilot holes to cut the mouth opening that I want. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and cut the pieces off of it. Okay, first cut looks pretty smooth, pretty even overall. These are the pieces we're going to end up putting together. I'm going to clean that up and figure out a way to connect these so it looks like it's one natural piece. What I'm going to try and do is clean up these edges with a wood chisel. So since bamboo is very fibrous, of course, it can split very badly. So what I think I need to do is make sure that I take very tiny bites on this. Okay, all right, nice and smooth again. Now, it's about trying to figure out how to get these pieces together. So the next thing we're gonna do is make a brace that we put on the inside. So what I'm gonna do is take a section of this, maybe about two and a half inches long, cut it off, and then split it inside so I get some straight pieces that I can make a brace out of. Don't know what it's gonna look like yet, but we'll give this a shot too, so. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to start with. I want to get some, some flat pieces out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and just split it. Nice. Wow. That went well. So that's the plan. Is to use this on the inside to hold these pieces together. I don't want the mouthpiece resting on Alessia's lips. That could get painful and uncomfortable during the day. So instead, what I want to do is put a set of dowels that come out that she can bite onto and hold it in place. So I'm going to use these chopsticks. I'm going to file real quick. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill these holes. Nice and snug fit. Okay, so of course I'm gonna go ahead and glue this in, but I don't trust the glue by itself. So I'm gonna drill some small holes in here and use a set of three set screws on each side to hold the brace into the back of it. Make sure that there's enough that it can't rotate. So now, we can glue in the mouthpieces. Okay, so now we're ready for the next step, which is to go ahead and fill this gap with putty. So let's go ahead and get started by cleaning it with 99.9% .9 alcohol. And then get our putty and putty knife. So here we go. The wood paste is dried, but before I get into cleaning this up, I need to go ahead and drill the holes for the ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. We've got a quarter inch drill bit. I'm gonna go ahead and drill the center hole right there. Super easy. Okay, good. Now, get into the sanding. Okay, now clean with alcohol and a microfiber rag. Now, obviously, we need to cover all these spots across the center and clean this up over here. We'll go ahead and put a layer on 
let it dry, sandpaper it down, and see where it goes. Paint looks really good. So what I'm gonna do is work on the rivets. But instead of just doing knots, I'm actually gonna use dowels to pin the ribbon in on both sides. So first, I need to cut my dowels that I'm gonna use to pin. And then I'm just gonna do a simple loop knot. And pull it, put the dowel in, and tight. Put some glue on here. And now, this is anchored in there. Now, I'm gonna do it again on the other side. All we have left is clear coat and put it to good use. Here's our final product, Nezuko's Bamboo Mouthpiece.